What's the best with the wrong person moment you ever seen? Buzz Aldrin punching the moon landing denier in the face. Never forget that video. People use it as proof the landings were fake that's why Buzz slugged him. Never mind the man was cornered by this person and his family was with him. Anyone would have reacted the same way he did. An actual true conspiracy theory about Buzz is where he got his name. Most people think it was the haircut. Not true. He was scared of bees. Mid 40s drunk and belligerent male sitting at a bus stop. Another male, in his late 70s was also sitting at the bus stop. Drunk male, got up and slugged the old man. The old man then beat the crap of out the drunk guy and held him on the ground until police showed up. Turns out the old man was a retired police hand-to-hand -hand combat defense instructor and had multiple black belts in karate and judo. Drunk guy was messed up and spent the night in jail. I bet that 40 year old dude told have been sober and still gotten laid the down by that retired instructor. Badass. Old man strength f***ing scary. At a work party, my boss daughter, apx 4 or 5 years old, found a group of us and invited us to play Uno. She had laid out all of the cards and set hands out for each of us. How do you say no to that? We all took our seats and one of my co-workers was kind of condescending to the girl my co-worker was asking if the girl knew how to count and how adorable it was that she wanted to play a game with the big kids. I forget exactly what she said, but her implication was essentially how funny it was a child wanted to play against adults in a game she couldn't possibly win. Yeah, so, the little girl had stacked her hand with all of the draw 4 cards and was sitting right next to my condescending co-worker. The game only lasted for a few minutes, and this child unleashed relentless you know fury on my co-worker with every card until the game was over. She smiled and had some kind of innocent but devious comment about how that was fun. It was so satisfying. This was a personally highly gratifying incident. My brother was supposed to meet me for dinner after work. So I was waiting outside a store for him to show up. I was in a by lane with not too many cars. Just a few people on foot. I was busy texting someone when this guy on a bicycle swerved close to where I stood and started making disgusting smooch noises. I barely had the time to register what was happening when I suddenly see my six featuring two. Broad shoulder brother. Grab the bicycle by the handles and push it towards the sidewalk. His face was pure fury and I don't think I have ever seen him that angry. He pretty much lifted the guy off the ground from his collar and made him apologize to me. That quiver in his voice and that pleading tone in comparison to the sh** arrogance that he had displayed just seconds ago. It was everything. I'm not sure why, but I imagine John Cena in a suit grabbing some dude off his bike. Back in college, we had an issue with muggings on campus, and between campus and Greek Street. It went on for a few months, all relatively late at night, without the individuals being caught. Increased police and security patrols didn't seem to stop them. One night, I was staying up late in the commons of the dorm studying, and my floor mate came home, drunk, and covered in blood spatter. I remember being alarmed and asked if he was okay. He just said that none of the blood was his, but he thinks he may have just sent the muggers to the hospital, but he was going to bed, no f given. Floor mate was a bodybuilder. News said the three suspected muggers ended up in the air, with broken nose, and broken collarbone. Dude at the club was being really creepy towards a group of girls that were just trying to hang out and have a good time. Eventually he slaps or grabs. I couldn't really see. One of the girls on the ass and she turned around with the devil in her eyes. He physically cowered and she just slapped him across the face and knocked him into a booth. He got thrown out by a bouncer about an hour later as I heard he was groping multiple women. Love the story, but it's a shame that guy probably does that to so many women and never gets his ass beat. He probably gets slapped 1 out of 10 times and that's way too infrequent. As a bouncer, I love kicking that type of asshole out of my bar. I'm a 5 feet 5 inches woman who typically looks super sweet, even when I'm escorting a drunk out. But all that sweetness disappears for those misogynistic troglodytes. Troglodyte. You used one of my favorite words. I was in high school and had just broken up with a guy. My dad picked me up from work and as we were driving home my ex was sending me paragraphs of pretty graphic hate and I started to cry. I told my dad what was going on and of course he became visibly upset. Just our luck. At that moment we passed my ex's car at a gas station. 
My dad pulled in and told me to wait in the car. He never told me exactly what happened but all I saw was my dad walk in. My ex got all in his face, and my dad grabbed him by the neck with one hand and sent him flying to the other side of the store without much force. Didn't hear from my ex much after that. Gotta love how little teenagers with vanity muscles will try to step up on a grown ass dude in his 40s. Old man strength is very real. Get fucked Aiden. Hell hath no fury like the father of a woman scorned. Your dad is pretty cool. My dad told me this one. He was in the marines at this time. Sitting at a bar having a drink. This big biker guy walked in and walked up to this little guy just enjoying his drink. The biker picked up the little guy and pinned him against the wall by his collar. The little guy flipped his wrist and out of a spring-loaded holster popped a two-shot derringer. He put it to the biker's face. The biker tried to put him down. Little guy goes no no no. You put me down. You die. The biker held him there for 10-15 minutes then dropped the guy and booked it out the door. The little guy just went back to his drink. Do you have anything to live for? Cause I don't. Straight out of the 1800s. My mom is a really short lady who is genuinely sweet and caring to everyone she ever meets and the maddest I've ever seen her is like maybe a raised voice. She was out Christmas shopping and when walking in the parking lot a guy just snatches her purse. She immediately gave chase because her piece, credit cards, phone and quite a bit of shopping cash was in there and she was out of town. My mom chases the guy down for several blocks until he ducks into a motel. Well, my mom is not that stupid and doesn't run and start pounding on the door. She called the cops. Cops came and they ended up busting a three-man purse snatching operation that had been going on all during shopping season. There were dozens of purses recovered along with hers. All three guys got sent to prison. My dad is this mild-mannered. 5 feet 4 Jewish therapist who wears glasses and dotes on his fluffy dog babies. One time, one of the relatives of a client of his, came charging at us when we were eating ice cream. Screaming that it was my dad's fault that his client was no longer in the relative's custody. Super abusive dude. Massive boss. And pulled a knife on me. A wee 5 year old baby. And my dad went ballistic. When he was done, that dude had to end up walking with a cane because he didn't know my dad had not only served in the marines, but he also had been a boxer in high school. Moral of the story, don't with little Jewish men. Chances are, they know how to wipe the floor with you edit. Typing error. This is the definition of why you don't start with strangers. You don't know their experiences, their personality, or their talents, and it could easily lead you to a visit to the air. Also, just don't threaten the parents kids, that's never gonna end well. He could have served a tour in the Care Bear Castle and probably still would have gone ballistic just to protect you. I was in New Orleans working after the storm and the only place for housing was in the French Quarter so we were staying on St. Peter's Saint about one stroke to a block from Bourbon it was like 7am on a Tuesday or something and we were waking up for work and smoking a sick drinking coffee on the balcony when we see two loud drunk frat guy type dudes walking one way down the street and two guys in drag walking the other frat guy starts mouthing something about and in one second one of the guys in drag, a pink mini dress I remember. Knock them the f out. Brutally. Then kind of rearranges his dress and saunters off it was one of those did I just see what I thought I saw moments. Drag queens do not f around. One of the most one sided fights I've ever seen ended with a drag queen standing over the f hole and snapping your punk is lucky these heels are expensive or I'd be ramming them right up your ass. Red convertible flipped off a cement truck driver that had onboard water he pushed a button in the cab and water shot out the side of the truck and hosed the convertible lol this kid at my high school thought it would be a good idea to fight with one of the ROTC sergeants. Yeah, he was pinned down real quick and had a lengthy suspension. Think before you act, please. Christ we're dumb in our youth. This kid thought him our pick a fight with the military trainee and his brain give him the go ahead and probably a go get em. Slugger, you got this. I read this as you f the wrong person and had college flashbacks lol. That raises several questions. 18 years, 18 years, she got one of your kids, got you for 18 years.